My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be doing an unboxing on my Northern Tools order. Here is a flat-free tire, and this is probably the single best upgrade I've made on my zero-turn mower, my grasshopper mower. Um, so let's take a look at what I ordered and uh, talk to you about this, uh, this tire. Sorry to ruin some of the fun for you. Um, already uh, opened this box up, but as you can see, uh, it's uh, it's seen better days. It's been more square. Okay, obviously we've got this flat free tire. This is a universal tire. Uh, comes with a couple different options. We'll get into that further. Here's my packaging slip. I also picked up these, I believe these are three quarter inch uh, bore bearings. So we'll be needing those today. And I've ordered a ratcheting chain biter set. I've been getting by with just the, the friction bearing ones and I thought it was time for an upgrade. So, okay, so before we get into the tire, I wanted to show this real quick. Might do a separate video on this. Uh, this is the cheapest thing I could find. Obviously, paint's already chipping, peeling. No, I don't really care. This is get beat up, abused, used, um, but I thought it was important to have the ratcheting cell. Uh, it's just too hard to use the style I've got. I only usually use one chain binder, so if you're interested in uh, showing how to chain down equipment, I'll leave a comment down below. Maybe we can do a future video on how to use a chain binder. This is obviously the second most inexpensive way uh, with, with chains uh, is to secure load and secure equipment. So uh, let's get on to the tire. Okay, here is the flat free tire. This is a Marathon tire, which I think is the same brand of flat free tire that I've got on the wheelbarrow. So they uh, obviously are the industry leader on, or at least have a, a large market share. And uh, it, it is a universal flat free tire, so we've got some spacers here. Got some more spacers. So we've got three of this larger size and one of that one that's about half the size and then we've just got I'm trying to remember how this was before so we do have a grease circ on here I remember that last time and I don't think these stay on and, and the reason I got these last year I picked up two of these put them on the front of the mower I, in, in the first few weeks of mowing I got so many flats in the front tire I tried some different adapters I tried tubes I tried these little extenders, the tubes, uh, the valve stems didn't stick out right, so I tried using these to get the valves extended further so I could fill it up there. Everything got pinched. Uh, one time I ran right over a nail and immediately got a flat, and I just constantly was running into issues keeping those front tires inflated. So I just said, enough's enough, looked at grasshopper options, and there was no way I was paying that kind of money. And then I found these guys. I can't remember what the price was on these. I'll have to look it up and maybe drop a link in the video. Um, but it was pretty affordable. It was more than I wanted to spend at the time. But after using these for about a year now, uh, totally worth the money, even though I'm replacing one. So one has uh, gone bad. So we'll, we'll pull the mower in here and show you what's going on. But I believe what happened is this, this bearing essentially got blown out or, or I don't know what happened to it. I mean, it's toast the main the main axle bolts toast so i'm i'm going to try these as a repair on my existing one see if i can drop these in the hub and reuse it uh and if not then i've got these for something separate it does look like these might be a little bit on the big side but we will maybe they're right so we, we will we will see on this if we can uh, just do the bearings or if we can do both and just have a spare um We'll find out, but let's pull that mower in and uh, show you the damage on the old one. So you can see here, something's wrong. This is the one disadvantage right here. It's not one of, this was very hard to get on the first time. Okay, let's compare these side by side. Any differences, you know, I, it's hard to tell if it's lost surface area, but you can see here where this this bearing is gone, and it's just been rubbing in there. This other side, 
uh, the bearing is intact, but only partially. Uh, in, in contrast to these these newer ones, so th it's just a chunk of metal. It's just I don't know what's going on with that. That's kind of odd. That's cool. It's just like shattered. I wonder if that got too hot. Here's that bolt. I found the damage on this side, and then I had to put it back together to keep working. So I flipped it over, and so it started wearing on that side. And that's after a day's worth of mowing. So it, it's probably been like this for a while, metal on metal contact. Uh, I mean, you can see, look at that side's way worse. So uh, I'm going to need to go pick up a new bolt. Hopefully I can find one at Home Depot. Um, I don't, I thought, I can't remember if I tried to put grease in here or not. I wonder if the grease made a difference or if it made it worse. Definitely needed grease in there and it did not have any. I mean, this is just a friction bearing. So picked up these guys. Let's see if they fit. This is their low speed, two pack, low speed ball bearings. They are, they do come greased. And are we the, yeah, we're way too big. That's huge. I swear I said this was a three quarter inch on their website. So maybe I should try their half inch bearings on here because it's obviously way too loose. But will this fit in here? I'm just trying this out, guys. Just, you're long for the ride with me. So if I pick up four half inch ball bearing, half inch bearings, that should work. I wonder if they're gonna fit on here. Yeah, I'm kind of wallered out. Let's go to the home improvement store, see if we can pick up a new bolt. Okay, I went to the auto parts store and picked up some new bolts. I could not find any uh, carriage bolts, so I'll have to go with this style. And uh, these were about five bucks for the bolt and about 50 cents for the nut. Uh, I did find um, some washers at O'Reilly's. I was trying to get 5 eighths because the the 3 eighths or what, what size do we have? The 3 quarter inch diameter ones we have are a little bit too big and sloppy. So I tried to go with uh, 5 eighths but they are too tight. So I did find these sealed bearings um, for three bucks a piece. I ordered three more but I th those are going to be the wrong size so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Um, I guess we'll just try and use these uh, this style. Oh, that's actually really sharp metal along there too. So I think we're gonna have to punch this back off. It's not even, yeah, super loose. This this one might be gone. This might be damaged. Um, like like this this guy just here, just in and out, in and out, super easy. Um, well, I mean, I guess we could send it like that. Um, yeah, let's just. I'm going to order another bearing kit. We got that side in there. We'll stick this in there. It's going to be loose. I'm just going to we're going to throw our bolts through and we're just going to send it as is. I really, you know, I wish I had some sort of something to take up that slop there. So these are kind of tight, so I'm actually just going to kind of drop this in place. New bolt nut. Put this guy on here. Go ahead and take off this other one. It's like we're missing our grease circ on this one. This one did the same thing. We're just totally toast in there. Okay, so this one, actually, I thought this was the good one. But this one's the same way. We got some greasy crap in here, all of this. I must have greased it at least once. But the grease just basically caught all the metal shavings that came off of here. You can see how these hubs, and we had this little metal thing on here. And I think these just got super heated up, and it just blew out that hub. This one, the inner one, no, this was the, well, the, there's, it's a caster, so there's really no inner router. We blew off our, our grease circ there, and it does kind of still have its, its hub there. So I think on this one, I'm just going to pull this one off. I'm glad we didn't ruin this. I'm going to order that another bearing kit. We'll put the bearing kit on on this one. Well, I'll put this one on temporary. This will be kind of my spare, and then I'll I'll put the bearing kit on this one. So if there is any difference in in tread wear, in, interesting that, that uh, the one on the left looks uh, taller than the new one. So I don't know if they kind of you know round it out. You know if this one's fatter and shorter, and this one's taller and narrower. I don't know why they'd be different. I'm pretty sure they're the same size. We got the. Marathon, flat free, 
13 by six and a half dash six. No, not for highway use. So yeah, we'll go ahead and slap this one back on and uh, get this thing at least back on the road. Well, thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage review on this flat free tire. Uh, despite the issues which we showed today, uh, this is still a much superior tire over a tubed uh, tire or an air tire. Uh, still plan to proceed forward with this. Uh, it was definitely a worthwhile investment last year, even if I have to purchase two new tires every year. Totally worth doing. We'll give the bearings a shot like we showed tonight, and uh, I'll do an update video in the future, whether that's six months down the road, a year, or two years down the road, whenever that needs to be. So if you're interested in those updates, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and uh, hopefully you check out our other videos. Leave any questions or comments down below, and thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. We'll see you on the next one.